Welcome back guys in a new video review, this time for the Duramo Speed, check it out. I'll take a shot, I'll overpower any boss, cause I am not, Let's go. that you would wanna cross. I move quietly, like a shadow, there's a dark side to me. I work privately, to go build and create my own dynasty. A new rivalry, it emerges ever so silently. But I got fight in me, so I'll squash anything that's trying me, I'm like... Me versus you, I hope that you know what you're getting into. I got nothing to lose, so you better watch out, can't predict my moves. I'll make you irrelevant, I don't stop till I'm at the top settling. I live here like a local resident, and you know I ain't selling it. So as usual, let's split the video in three main sections. Uh, so the specs, the house so mid, so end upper, and finally my conclusions. The shoe is uh, a bit heavier than the Boston 12. Uh, with the same drop of uh, 6.5 millimeters, but lower to the ground in comparison to the Boston 12. The midsole is made of uh, the original uh, strike foam and uh, it has neither energy rods uh, nor a torsion system. Also now. The also, I thought was uh, much more uh, slippery. The stand is not that bad, of course. The grip is not like there are the shoes like the Boston 11 or Boston 12, but uh, it's not that bad actually. Huh? And uh, another pro is that it's not that thick and uh, stiff underneath your feet, so you can even hear that from the sound. Yeah. Midsole now. But before to go ahead, guys, please uh, make sure to. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet uh, and to smash the like button only 5% of you is uh, already subscribed so it's very important for me and uh, it doesn't cost anything to you uh, so your support for the work done uh, for this video is really appreciated. Midsole is uh, entirely made of uh, the light strike foam not the light strike 2.0 so it's a little bit more uh, stiffer and uh, you can feel it um, the strike height is lower uh, than uh, the Boston 12. Uh, the drop is 6.5 millimeters. I haven't seen any torsion system or energy rods in the midsole, so there is no support uh, to the running motion. So I guess uh, it is not that responsive as the other shoes like the Boston 12. Uh, but uh, let's check from the running dynamics. For the running dynamics collected, the, the average ground contact time, uh, so that the response of the shoe looks uh, to be similar to the Boston 11, but a bit less responsive uh, in all the different tests. The vertical oscillation ratio, so the efficiency to propel uh, you forward uh, instead than up, uh, it doesn't look so good like in the Boston 12 or uh, in the uh, Adios 8. So the shoe seems to, to be pretty bouncy. Uh, instead of propelling you forward, it propels you up, uh, probably because of uh, the lack of the torsion system or, or uh, the energy rods. Upper now. About the upper, it doesn't leave too much room in the forefoot uh, like the Boston 11. Uh, so it's narrower than uh, uh, the Boston 12. The shoe is through to sides. The tongue uh, is perfect, it doesn't annoy me. The lockdown, it's as always a little bit slippery in the in the internal side of the collar. Uh, there is a very comfortable uh, padding uh, inside the collar, uh, much bigger than uh, the other shoes, uh, than the Boston 12, for instance. And uh, I thought it was a little bit more breathable. I mean, today is pretty warm. Yeah, let's see. Maybe in the uh, after one of the miles. Uh, I will have a different opinion. So hopefully it will last longer than another 50 miles. Uh, uh, but the mesh is different, so let's see. Try to fasten a little bit better the shoes. Uh, and uh, now the lockdown is uh, pretty good. Looks like even the warm lacks the colorway of the shoes. So in conclusion, what I like about this shoe is that it is light, so I feel this shoe light in my feet. Uh, it is not that big, uh, especially in the forefoot. It's like the Boston 11. Uh, I told you I like the, the feet of the Boston 11. Pity that uh, the upper 
just failed after 150 miles. I hope this is not the case with this uh, model. Then I like also that the, the forefoot is uh, pretty much mm, firm. Of course, it's the last strike. Uh, it's not the last strike uh, 2.0. It's not the like uh, strike pro, but still, uh, it gives me. Mm, I would say the response I'm looking for uh, from my run issues. Um, yeah, it's low to the ground um, in comparison with the, the Boston. It's more or less like to run in the Boston. And um, yeah, the landing in the hill is not that bad, even considering the high strike uh, foam. And um, yeah, the lockdown, as I said, now is okay. Yeah, the only things I don't like, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it's the hopper. It doesn't feel so breathable to be honest uh, But maybe it's because today is really warm and uh, Yeah, and also what I like a lot is that it is a really cheap shoe So I paid 60 euro for this shoe. It's amazing uh, This is how nowadays the running shoe should cost. I understand there is no uh, Carbon plate there is no torsion rods uh, not even a um, torsion system. Uh, of course, the Boston 11 and Boston 12, uh, it's a different shoe. You can also, I believe, do uh, better tempo runs. But yeah, actually, I like these shoes, at least after the first kilometers. Let's check after 100 miles. <laughs> I also tried the shoe in a long tempo run and um, it was not that bad, uh, keeping my average heart rate low. So it's pretty uh, versatile, but uh, I would not use it neither for uh, fast workouts uh, nor for uh, racing. That's what's it for this uh, video review. I hope you like it. Uh, I always like to try and test new shoes. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and till the next time, keep running. <laughs>